Hello, guys, and welcome back to Earl Sports Bets. I'm Timothy Earl, joined with Nicholas Earl, and we've got week number six of Earls versus Girls. Um, and we'll go ahead and pull this up. Uh, we have a new leader. Uh, Destiny is currently in first place, 12, 12, and 1. I'm a point behind her at 12 and 13. Slightly behind me is Sydney, and in the cellar dweller is Nick. Um, but we've got a full... Um, our full cards for the contest, uh, all the lines should be correct in this. Um, and, uh, we'll go ahead and jump into them. I'll start off with mine. Uh, I went with the Cardinals to start it off. I don't think they should be, uh, I think that's game is going to be a lot closer, uh, than people think and, uh, could easily be a field goal game. I don't think they should be that big of dogs against Green Bay. I'm actually quite high on this Arizona team. Bears, uh, sorry, Browns plus 10. That's ridiculous. Um, I Philadelphia is off the bye. I think they might be a little bit more rusty than rested. And um, I, I think Cleveland covers the double-digit spread. Give me the Raiders. I just – I'm going to be fading the uh, the Steelers. I don't think they're a good team. I think they're going to struggle this year. So I'm taking the Raiders here. How about the Carolina Panthers? Uh, I know it's gross. Um but I, uh, I just think that the line's a little bit too wide for this game, and I'm not as high on Atlanta, especially on the road. And uh, I'll pay to see my team win. By the way, Nick, give me the Bills minus two and a half on Monday night. Um, I, I, I don't trust this Jets team. I don't. They're coming back from London. I think it's a bad spot for them. They just look like crap. Um, I'll take Buffalo here. Minus a two and a half. And guess what? If I lose, I'm okay with that because then my, that means my Jets win. Um, but a chance for first place in the division, I don't think they I don't think they get there. Give me the Bills minus a two and a half. We'll head over to Destiny's plays real quick. Uh, London game, she's taking the Bears minus the two. Um, I personally stayed off that game, so good luck there. Uh, Ravens minus the six and a half. I'm on that um, um, as a personal bet. But uh, she went with the contest. She went against me and took the Falcons. It's fine. I understand fading the uh, Panthers has is, is been profitable this year. Also on the Raiders, uh, I think she just hates the Pittsburgh Steelers a lot. And then she's on the Detroit Lions minus the three to finish it out. I realized I didn't put the Dallas Cowboys as one of my plays. That's fine. Um, I think I was going to, but I ended up going elsewhere. Uh, but those are my plays and Destiny's plays. Nick, go ahead. Yeah, uh, we'll start with Sydney. She's going right back to a team she I know she's backed an awful lot this year with the New Orleans Saints plus the points. I disagree with it. I'll get to that in a second. Tennessee minus two and a half. Uh, we talked about this during our show. Uh, Tennessee makes some sense a little bit for me a little bit. I, I, I'm not betting them, but I would only look in that direction. Same thing with the Chargers. I didn't bet them, but I would only look in that direction as there. Same thing with the Lions. I, wouldn't, I, I didn't bet them, but I would only look in that direction as well. I like unders in the the Chargers and the uh, the the Lions teams there, and then I agree with her on Sunday Night Football with the New York Giants uh, there, and I will get into that when I break down my picks. My first pick, going against Destiny there, Tim. Give me the Jaguars in London. This is their second home. The line's moving towards them. The plus two. This is a pick 'em now. So yeah, no, I, I like where I am in that game. I, I got minus one hundred five with the Jacksonville Jaguars. That's not a two and a half. That is a seven. I'm on the Patriots plus the points. I'm going to challenge the Houston Texans to cover a spread, which they have failed to do basically every single time this year, other than when they were one point favorites against the Buffalo Bills. So I meant to type plus seven on there. It is plus seven with the uh, with the Patriots. I laid wow. the three. All right, I got Bucks minus three. I personally did three and a half with this team. I think they win by a tutty in this game here. I think this is a really good spot here for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They're coming in off of that primetime loss. And and the Saints are going with Spencer Rattler, uh, who I'm not very high on whatsoever. So I do like the Bucs to take care of business there. And then the last two plays, I'm back, back in the New York groove. Give me the Giants and the Jets. Giants plus three and a half. We broke that down during the show. Uh, everybody and their mama is all over the – uh, Cincinnati Bengals in that game. And the line is not moved. They're taking all that Bengal money and inviting more of it. And then the New York Jets, 
One thing I know you're on you're on the Buffalo Bills there, but one thing that you forgot to mention, Robert Sala is gone. And Aaron Rodgers did not like Robert Sala. Their relationship was not good. And they fired him. This is the fired head coach angle for me. I'm on the Jets. I'll take I, I'll take their money line. I'll be on their money line on Monday night. Um, I love the Jets in this spot. There's a Jets, Jets, and more Jets for me in that spot. Um, but yeah, those are all of my picks there as well. Is it too late to change a pick? Yes. Damn it! I was gonna switch the uh, Bills out for the Cowboys. Um, that's fine. Um, I totally forgot about the coach firing. Hey, you know what? I'm still gonna play it the same way because. If I win the bet, I win the bet. If I lose, that means the Jets win. So I'm happy. Um, so either way, I- I'm happy with the play. Um, but that's all the that's all five of our plays for me, Nick, Destiny, and Sydney uh, for Earls versus Girls. Uh, we appreciate you guys for watching, and we will be back again next week for another one. Good luck, guys.